the Z1 dashboard has long allowed you to have multiple screens associated with each car. Um, new in version 4.8 is the ability to assign those dashboards and customize your car without having to have the SIM loaded. Uh, so to do that, you launch the dashboard, which I have here, and you click on the bottom left on the settings icon. That will bring up the settings dialog, and if you click on the car one tab here, uh, you see the car definition settings. So what we're interested in right now is this SIM dropdown and car dropdown. So if you click on the SIM dropdown, you see a list of all the SIMs that are supported, and you choose the SIM that you're interested in. So as an example, I'll choose iRacing. And whenever you change the SIM or the car selection, you'll get a dialog which asks you if you want to save the current uh, car definition before moving on. I'm going to hit no because I haven't actually made any changes. Then under the car, you get a list of all the cars that are associated with the SIM. And I'm going to choose the Audi. Again, I click no on this because I haven't made any changes yet. And note that the cars that are listed on that car dropdown are only the ones that which you have actually uh, driven or have uh, predefined definitions for. So if there's a new car for a SIM, uh, you'll actually have to get in that car before it will show up on this list. So with that said, I've selected uh, iRacing and uh, the Audi R8. And what I want to do now is go to car 2 tab right here. And see, it says here iRacing and Audi uh, GT3. On the right over here, this is where you can choose the screens associated with the car. Uh, and uh, we kind of use the word screen and dashboard interchangeably. So you can have up to 10 uh, screens associated with the car. Uh, by default, there are six. And uh, if you choose them, you see what they are. Now to change one, uh, you just select the one you're interested in. So I'm going to change the second screen. And you click here on the dash type. And perhaps I want our new track map 6, which includes track map and uh, a little weather widget here showing me the direction of the wind relative to my car, as well as the wind speed and the track temperature. Uh, if I wanted to add a seventh dashboard, for example, I would click this plus button. Now I have number 7. And I can choose whichever one I want. Uh, perhaps I want uh, the head behind dash. Uh, so once you've done that and you've chosen the screens you want for your car, all you have to do is click OK, and they get saved. And now when I launch my SIM and select that car, the choices I made uh, just then will show up, and I will be good to go. So I hope you found this useful, and please click on the link below to subscribe to our YouTube channel.